It was mission accomplished for this soldier. His son had not seen him for an entire year. A flood of emotions, uh, excited, nervous, uh, hoping his reaction was, was good. 105th graders filled the gym at Scottville's Upper Elementary School. They all thought they were coming to an assembly to hear me talk about my job as a reporter, a cover-up for something much more special. The tear ducts working, the chest tightening up just to see that because I knew the excitement for Brandon and what that meant to him was just the world. The idea for this big reveal came over the weekend when Brandon found out his dad would not be coming home on a bus with other soldiers. Brandon was devastated. The devastation quickly turned to joy thanks to teachers, family, and friends. I jumped up and hugged him. Hi, buddy. Uh, are you surprised? And he agreed, yeah. He said, yeah, he was surprised. He was pretty choked up. An emotional moment for this little boy. A relief to see his father, his hero, home safe and sound. In Mason County, Lord Amstead's 7 and 4 News. I want Mr. and Mr. Moose. One by one, they come to Santa, each child with a very special request. Twin babies. But seven-year-old Reagan Walter's wish is unlike the others. Well, I want for Christmas with my dad. That's pretty much the only thing. A tough order even for Santa. Well, you know, Santa do the very, very best he can on these things. But with a little Christmas magic, mm. oh, yeah. wow. Reagan's wish comes true. Santa brings her father, U.S. Army Sergeant Bobby Walters, home to her from Iraq. From the look on Reagan's face, she had no idea Santa would even be able to help her. I didn't know. I was just hoping he would be able to. Hi, sweetie. And if Santa did, she wanted to make sure he could find her dad. I told him uh, that I wanted my dad for Christmas and showed him a picture of my dad, so he brought home the right dad. We have a good relationship with Santa, but I didn't know if this one was going to happen. But Santa came through. Extra homemade milk and cookies. We're going to oh, have to make yes. some. And a seven-year-old little girl has her Christmas wish. Uh, Tell Santa thank you for everything. Thank you. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Mary Jedlica, ABC6, on your side. You need to get up on the top? Open it up. No, get down. On this side of the couch. Okay, open it right there. Right there, that little hole. Abigail, right here. Right there. What's in there? Daddy. It's Daddy. <laughs> here, let me get out of here, honey. Did Santa bring you Daddy? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Come here, you. Oh, is that my Abigail? Oh. What do you think, oh. Abigail? Did Santa do a good job this year? Yeah. <laughs> oh, baby girl. Mm. This is a big hug, isn't it? I miss you, baby girl. <laughs> Say, and Molly too. Don't forget Molly. Say, that's my that's my baby sister, huh? Here, you put her in there with you. Come here, honey. You can wear two. Woo! <laughs> she got her Mimi. There. Yeah, she got Mimi. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And my mom made these on curse. Yeah. Did Santa do a good job, Abigail? <laughs> Is Santa your best friend? <laughs> oh. Oh. I see. I see Mimi. Uh huh. Is that Mimi? I know we walked over here crying. <laughs> My name is Captain Scott Parks, stationed at uh, Ramstein, Germany, and currently deployed to the United States Southern Command. Now that I'm here and there's areas where I have Wi-Fi, 
I'm so tempted to just go to Facebook and say, hey everybody, I'm here, I'm home. Be my wife, Stephanie, my daughter, uh, Ileana and Sophia. I kind of tricked them uh, to go to SeaWorld today. And we're here celebrating the 4th of July, right? Because yes. my wife and two daughters, they have no clue that I'm going to be here today. A lot of fun. Um, we've actually never been here before. Well, yeah. the small kids haven't, and I have. Because we live in Germany. Yes, we live in Germany. This is uh, very special to be back in San Antonio for uh, 4th of July. One, because it's home, my hometown, but two, uh, my wife and I, we got married on the 7th of July 2007, so 7th anniversary is a big deal and uh, I would really regret it if I missed it. We love to connect with, our, with everybody, with our guests, and especially our military. And one way we're able to do that is through a Waves of Honor program. The Waves of Honor program allows active duty military and three direct dependents to be able to come to SeaWorld and enjoy one complimentary visit throughout 2014. And we decided that on the 4th of July Independence Day to bring one of our own hometown heroes in and welcome him home and do it right here at SeaWorld at Shamu Theater. We would like to welcome one of our very own hometown heroes. Returning from his second tour overseas, Captain Scott Parks. You know what's coming, but you're just never ready for it. And it's just an amazing feeling to be a part of something like that, to see their reaction and to know that you've done just even this little something to make this family just their day, their week, their year just that much better. And we were able to pull it off and we were very excited to be a part of it. Oh my gosh, this was the best surprise I've ever had from anybody ever.
recording your surprise <laughs> all right ready one stand that way this way right there yeah that works on the count of three take it off ready uh -huh. one two three So is it worth wearing the stupid mask? <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> it's freezing in my glasses. Look at how tall she is. 